Today, I answer the age-old question of why your computer mouse is dead. My name is Steve Smith. This is Tiki Way Weekly. And if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, even topics for stories, you can always email me at ask at tikiwayweekly.com. Go to my website, tikiwayweekly.com, where you can use the contact form to email me directly. You can use the subscribe page to follow me on social networks and subscribe to this show by other means you can go to each of the past episodes and comment on there and go to the support us page to help out the show and of course if you're already on youtube lip.tv vimeo or anywhere else i post every single week you can always post down below today's topic is about the computer mouse and i promise to keep this short because it's a really 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 easy thing to explain so first of all for those who didn't already know this computer mice used to have a balls yes balls you open it up, removed its ball, cleaned it, cleaned the three axis rollers inside, and then you put the ball back in and you sealed it all up, and then you can actually use it again. Very, very neat. It was a really interesting and cool time because, well, first of all, we actually knew that our mice got dirty, and second of all, because the electronics were actually higher up in the mouse, well, they tend to be less affected by all that crazy stuff I'm about to tell you. So, people, the reason why your mouse is dying is because it's a piece of electronics and electronics absolutely hate, oh my god, I'm going to say it, anything that has to do with minerals, oils, sweat, dirt, and dust. Yes, I said it. The reason why your mouse is dead is because you're human, because robots don't eat mice. So. The only way you can prevent your computer mouse from dying prematurely is not by changing manufacturer. It has nothing to do with them. It has to do with us. So what you need to do is treat your mouse with more respect and clean it like you would clean your keyboard. And if you don't clean your keyboard, shame on you. So first things first, your best friend when dealing with your computer to keep it clean is isopropyl alcohol, 99%. You can get it at your local pharmacy and it usually costs next to nothing. It's the only liquid I put around a computer. Keep your computer powered off, unplugged at this time when using that kind of product because it can still short out your computer. However, once your computer is unplugged and using it, it's relatively safe since it dries up exceptionally fast and you can also use it on optics to clean them. So Blu-ray, your CD, your DVD, and your mouse eye. Use a small, tiny, very soft cloth with just a drop of this isopropyl alcohol and clean out the eye. Use that air compressor that some of you own to clean out all the dust from around. You can use the same product of isopropyl alcohol to clean the rest of the mouse and actually clean all of the surface and buttons and features of your mouse so that it will be absolutely clean. But your mouse is not just a problem. Because you are human, by the way, and most of you already knew that, you sweat. Most of the sweat comes off your hand on the pinky side of your palm and actually lays down onto the surface that you put your mouse on. So if you have a mouse pad that is cleanable, clean it. If it isn't, you might wanna change that one once in a while. But if you can actually clean your mouse pad, the best bet for your mouse to survive longer is to clean the mouse pad by making sure that you remove all of the grease, oils, and dirt from the surface that that mouse is actually tracking over. By the way, for some of you who didn't already know this, by having a clean mouse pad, you'll also improve the accuracy of your mouse. Tired of not making that headshot? Clean your mouse pad. That will actually make it exceptionally easier for you to get that perfect headshot each and every single time in Battlefield 4, Hardline, or anywhere else if you use a mouse. Because if your mouse optics are clean and your mouse pad is clean, then everything is going A-OK -okay with you and your mouse will last longer and not die in the middle of the game. Just pointing that out. So, if you liked this episode, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Put your comments down below. Share your horror stories of all those video games you lost because your mouse died on you. And keep in mind, there's nothing any manufacturer can do about the fact that it's a human using 
your mouse. And for those who want to submit their own questions, topics, and of course, horror stories, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can use the contact form to email me directly. Go to the subscribe page to follow me on social networks and find other ways of tracking this show. And of course, you can always interact with others on past episodes directly on the website and go to the support us page to help me out with this show. And of course, have a great day and 